Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So it's down to business here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, good interception. Good distance on it. Plays it long. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Right. Managed to get it away. Oh, that is lovely footwork. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. What an adventurous run from a defender. Oh, where he sorted that out. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. out for a goal kick. Lovely bit of skill there. Looking for a decent ball in. Gets it into the middle. And that's been levered clear. And it's the whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we're underway again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, We'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. There could be trouble here. 
But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Forward, what does he try from here? Crosses it in, and the keeper's in command. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Pumps it into the area. Has a hit! <laughs> Taken with style! And finally, he has breathed life into the game! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Has a quick glance. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. That's gone a long way up and away. Forward it goes. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Into the last five minutes. It is just the question of running down the clock now. He's got options out wide. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. What a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Two up and very little. And that is it, the referee has seen it up. Port have won it, as much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Port were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, we can only...